Speaking of, of which, uh, Nikki, uh, now you're, because I, I almost bypassed you, so you're in a major where there's superhero people all around you. Right. But you don't do superheroes at all. No, not at all. How do you uh, interact with these students peaceably? <laughs> Where they're like, you don't draw superheroes right. You know, I don't want to draw them at all. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't feel like that they force me to draw superheroes. Um, we we just respect each other's spaces, I suppose. Especially in a comics major or sequential arts major, um, some people are going to do their own thing, you know, and that's fine. <laughs> Well, as a, as a, to me, I find it, it was my experience, that it was usually the more independent-minded people will bother to take the time to get into the mindset of someone who wants to do a horror comic, uh, or a superhero comic, or a fantasy adventure comic. And then some of those people are like, a journal comic, bah humba, you know, mm -hmm. like, a story about your boyfriend, does he turn into a monster? Then I'll read it, you know, and, uh, until then. Right. Then so I know it's kind of cool. Actually, in my experience, when I taught you know comics classes for almost twenty years, the girls on the whole tended. <laughs> Someone just turned into a monster down the street, uh, but apparently cops have it handled. Uh, but the girls on the on the whole uh, tended to be more like, I don't necessarily have all the answers. I'm here to learn, and I want to uh, be exposed to what my teacher has to say and my fellow students and I'll, I'll sort of get my education through a mixture of this. And then a lot of guys would come in like, I was the best artist in my high school and did the cover of my yearbook. And now I'm here to draw comics and they're really very good. And then, you know, the, you get cr the critiques going into class and they would have issues with, you know, one thing or another. I don't understand how this can be. All of my friends say I'm very talented. <laughs> Whereas a lot of the girls would be like, oh, um, I should work on my anatomy, um, I'll go home and do that. You know, they were more open. It's not like, yes, feel free to criticize me. <laughs> you know, they could take it. But then the girls would turn around, act on the criticism, and uh, explore how they could uh, fix things, make them better, or come back the next week and go, you know what, I tried it different ways, I'm sticking with my original plan. Uh, but I did give your point of view a shot. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's all girls, that's a, a generalization. Uh, but just my experience was most of the guys came sort of fully formed. Like, I've been reading comics since I was a baby. You know, they just put them in my crib and I started reading them. You're like, goo goo, goo, goo. 